So I think for us, the one question that we get asked all the time from emails and callers is, what is the California Review? Actually, what do you guys do? And I pause for a second because I don't think that there's one word that can define everything that we do. Uh, we're so div diverse out there. Um, we'll get callers that'll ask us, we're coming in the California area, this is our budget, we're thinking about staying at this hotel, is it worth it? Uh, can you find something better for us? We get a lot of those and we're like, yeah, not a problem. Or we'll get like the food lovers that will um, email us and say, hey, we're in this part of Southern California, can you recommend a couple of great dinner restaurants and a couple of must-have best Cali's eats before we go? And it's like, okay, uh, immediately I'll contact them. And I like to have a connection with my viewers and my callers. I don't just send an email. Um, when I'm doing a food recommendation, we do these cute little custom itineraries that we'll email the client that'll have their dinner reservations, a special little table waiting for them. It's the cutest thing. Things I've eaten at that restaurant that I feel that they'll enjoy. And after consulting with the um, callers, I'll find out what they like to eat and what are they looking for. Because if I'm recommending a seafood restaurant and someone doesn't eat seafood, then that recommendation's no good. So it's, it's good to personally connect. I try with all the callers and find out what they're looking for, what their budget is, um, what their palate uh, is used to before I'll send a custom itinerary for a restaurant. And we're out five days a week um, touring new restaurants and hotels. Uh, everything we do doesn't always make it on our social media. There's thousands of recommendations of hotels and restaurants. And my job, I feel, for the viewers is going out there Finding the ones, the hotels and the restaurants that strive for the best. I mean, they go be of and be, uh, above and beyond with their service, their quality, their hospitality. And I like to find them and bring them to the viewers so they have a better option for their time and money. And I know Southern California, I think all my life, how did this establish? A lot of people ask me too. Um, how did you become the California Review? Well, a quick little background. I worked in a kind of a corporate office on the down low as a food critic and a travel uh, consultant for hotels and I knew that's not where I wanted to be. I kind of just walked out and said I want to do my own thing. I want to be able to taste the food, talk to the owners, go into the hotels and I want to bring it to the media. I don't want to sit in a corporate office and it's kind of like a cartoon in my head. Um, when I, I left the corporate world and started going out into social media, I met a fantastic um, producer that had a passion for food. So it was like a producer met a food critic and the California Review was born. And if you can put a title or a label, one word on that, I, I don't know what it is. I think that um, we are a travel consultant. Um, we're a little bit more meticulous than a travel agent because we go above and beyond. Um, I think we're food recommendators. And then we also get the calls from the hotels and the restaurants asking us to come down and do a video for them and review them. And uh, I think at the end of the day, we're there for the vacationers, we're there for the restaurants, we're there for the hotels. And I think it's a win-win for everybody and we're doing what we love. And I think that's what the California Review is all about. So I like to say, we're, uh, we're out there with everything uh, regarding food and hotels and um, we're doing our passion and we're loving it.